Have you ever had a video appointment with your doctor? What does that look like? So in this time of coronavirus, today is March 16th, 2020, and my clinic, a geriatric clinic, is located in an acute care hospital. Right now, the hospitals want to be ready for a surge of acute illness related to coronavirus. They want to minimize the number of people that are coming in and out of the hospital. This will cut down on people being exposed to illness, as well as the use of personal protective equipment like masks and gloves. So what we're trying to do is as many virtual visits as we can. Here in Ontario, doctors are allowed to use uh, technological platforms like Zoom meeting and other kinds of um, applications that allow us to see and talk to each other to do medical visits. That could save people a lot of travel. Um, in our case, it would save them 12 bucks on parking and it could also minimize the spread of infection. Let me show you how it works. So here I am in my office getting ready to do a virtual visit. I'm gonna power up my laptop, which is here. Now I sent a meeting invitation by email to someone in my family they would have gotten an email with a link to join a Zoom meeting. When the time comes, they can just click on that link and we can have the meeting. Hi, Nicole. Oh, hi. How are you? Can you see me and hear me? I can see you and hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I'm using my phone because it's okay. slower. It, it's faster than my pad. I haven't even got your email yet on my pad. Oh, I, dear. Okay. I, I'm, I'm using my phone and I can see you well. Okay, that's great. So, uh, t so this is like, say I was your doctor and we were going to have a visit. Yes. Um, so I would be asking you like, what's bothering you, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you yeah. could tell me <laughs> and I could say, what's in that mug? Intenso. Okay. <laughs> How many have you had today? <laughs> First one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So while I've got you here, um, so this yeah. is proof that it works. Was that complicated to, uh, to open that email? Oh, or no, it was okay. No? I, had, I had to install an app, you know. Yes, okay. And yeah. uh, you didn't have to sign up for a membership or anything, right? I don't think so, no. 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 And um, did I just follow you... the instructions, you know, set yeah. allow and this, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And you, yeah. yeah, and it's working and we can hear each other. And yeah. did you... Um, Are you at work now? No, this is my home office here. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm right. in my home office, yeah. All right. I got all my degrees up there on the wall. and I could see that. Yeah, <laughs> all that tuition that you paid for. Um, yeah, so um, so yeah, so this would be like a visit, and then uh, I would give you advice and stuff. Oh um, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do with COVID. You know, we're gonna try to minimize in-person appointments, and we're going yeah. to try to have the appointments virtual as best oh. we can. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So just as an older person, like, would you think that that's acceptable? Oh yeah. 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 That's Absolutely. good. It's yeah, comfortable, yeah. eh? You don't have to drive or Oh, it's great. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, we've got proof of concept then. Okay. Yeah, okay, love you. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, love you too. Okay. Bye. 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 Of course, there are potential downsides to virtual visits. There are limits to what we can examine over a computer. There is technology that allows us to listen to people's heart sounds and to do detailed um, examinations through technology, but uh, right now most doctors don't have that set up. 
What might be ideal is if there's a nurse or another healthcare provider who's there with the patient who can do some maneuvers with instructions from the doctor and report on the findings. So, you know, for some of the things that I do, like looking at mood and cognition and just talking to people to get the history and find out more about what's going on, that could go very well over a video conference link. The part of my job where I'm giving somebody feedback could also be done very easily over video. That's what we're trying to do on The Wrinkle after all. So if you get an invitation to do a virtual visit, think about agreeing to do it. There are some challenges which also include security. So before you consent to a virtual visit, your doctor will probably tell you that the channel that you're communicating over isn't 100% secure. There is a small chance that somebody could intercept that health information that's being exchanged. But that risk is pretty low, although it's one that you do have to take if you want to have the visit. The other downside is that it does require somebody to have an internet connection and a device of some sort, although that could be as simple as a desktop computer, a laptop, a phone, or a tablet, which many people have access to. So these are interesting times and we're trying to be adaptable by trying out virtual visits. I'd love to know what you think about virtual visits and whether or not you've had one, uh, how it went. If you want to know more about aging, go to www.therinkle.ca and if you want more information about the coronavirus and other public health issues, I'll leave the public health website as well below. Thanks for watching.